We are in New York City, Manhattan. We are fighting today for young workers' rights and workers everywhere. It's a May Day. International Workers' Day. We're marching for rights, we're marching for fair contract. If you work 40 hours a week, you should be able to put a roof over your head and food on your table. Fairness and equality for all, everybody. Workers will be in the streets, immigrants will be in the streets, community groups will have assemblies in the parks. By people coming together from all these different groups, we can support each other and make each other stronger. We feel like we deserve a fair contract. When Hurricane Sandy hit, we put New York City back on its feet, moving throughout the city. We moved New York. We're here organized uh, as young workers because we got to get involved. We got to get involved uh, early. The people united will never be defeated. The young workers are here to make sure that unionism survives. TWU, young workers! It's very important to have a young workers committee because what we're doing is creating a forum. My name is Drew! I'm a TWU member from Ann Arbor, Michigan. I've been a member now for uh, a little over five years and my first couple of years I didn't have anything to do with anything. And that's why we formed the Young Workers Committee is that we need to grab young people all the time and quicker and sooner so they can get involved and be active from the get-go. And we're here to take the fight to their door. We're at Bryant Park. For the TWU uh, Young Workers uh, March and to uh, go uh, occupy some offices for a little bit. We're doing actions against uh, union busting firms and places where we need a contract for our workers. So I spoke at uh, 347 Madison, which is a New York City Transit Authority building. This is my first action I've done of that sort. of unity and solidarity with the other brothers and sisters that attended to support us. We are the 99%! We are the 99%! And also a sense of power to invade on their personal space and let them know that TW Local 100 is here to stay. There was a heavy police presence. It was a little scary for, for a little bit. We got into every lobby that we planned on getting into. I really didn't even pay attention to the guards. I mean, my purpose was to get in there, get in there fast, say what I needed to say, and go. And we're here to tell them. And we're here to tell them. Do you must it? Is this There's power in numbers. It's two of them and, you know, 300 of us. Our voices were heard and theirs were not, and that was the point. And the Southwest Porch is sponsored by Southwest here at Bryant Park. We were there uh, telling Southwest that we didn't want to be outsourced. Hey Southwest, you're no good, treat your workers like you should. Hey Southwest, you're no good, treat your workers like you should. Our jobs have been given away to temporary workers and we are completely against that. We're currently in mediation and we need a fair contract. Young people, we have energy. A lot of us are motivated. We're just getting out there in the workforce. You want to fight for a cause and an organized cause. Uh, give them some education, some training, and let them know they need to be involved and active and it's their union as well. Once you get that message across and people understand that they can participate and they have a say in, in what happens, then only good things happen. It makes the union itself stronger. The